Hi guys, today I did a video on this makeup look. I love it. It's like a really dark, sultry, smoky eye using the new Laura Mercier Artist Palette. Um, at the end of the video, you will see how I paired it with a darker lip. I wanted to kind of show you how you can pair a dark eye with a dark lip, but I did end up changing it because it was a little much for daytime for me. Um, I changed it to the YSL Glossy Stain in Lush Coconut, which I really think is super pretty with this eye look, but you'll see at the end of the video how I did it with a dark lip, which also turned out very, very pretty. I focused on obviously using the darker purples in this look. Um, it's like a dark, sultry, smoky purple eye. I love it. It's so flattering. Um, I use like Violet Ink and Cure Royal. I use a little bit of Fresco, but um, I really hope you guys like this and let me know what you think about it down below. So the first color I am taking is the color Fresco which is this one. It's kind of a pinky brown color. It's a little bit lighter and it's great for blending out. So I'm going to take that right into my crease. Well, kind of above the crease, I would say. The next color I'm taking is this one. It's called Cure Royal. It's like a pinky violet color. And I'm going to take this color right into my crease. So a little bit lower than where we put Fresco. So once that's in my crease, I'm just going to go back in with my fluffy brush and just make sure it's all blended out. I'm going to take that same color, Cure Royal, and I'm going to take it on a smaller pencil brush. And I'm going to put that right underneath the lash line. I'm going to take the color Guava, which is this one right here. It's like a light shimmery pink. It has a slight bit of a peachy tone in it. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to take that in the inner corners of the eye. I'm just using a MAC 239. It's just like a, any flat brush. On the same 239 brush, I'm going to be taking Violet Ink, which is this one. It's like the deepest violet color in this palette. And I'm just going to pat this on the lid. And I'm just going to try to fade it up into the other colors that we already did. I love this color. It's so pretty and super dark and rich looking. So for right under the brows, I'm going to go for a matte beige, which the perfect one is Vanilla Nuts. It's just like a basic matte beige. And I'm just going to put that... Um, right under the brow to kind of finish off the whole look. So I'm going to take um, MAC Feline Coal Power. It's like a really smudgy black liner. So I'm going to take this on the upper lash line. I'm really just making sure that the lash line is the darkest. I'm going to go back in with my flat brush that I use with the Violet Ink Shadow and gently go over that black just to kind of blend. So I also line into my bottom waterline and then I finished off the eye look with some mascara. I really, really love this. I love the way it came out. It's super dark and sultry looking, which is one of my favorite looks ever. So now I will zoom out and I'll show you how to do the rest of the face. All right, so I've already hydrated my skin. Um, now it's time to prime. I'm using my Laura Mercier Radiance Face Primer. I like this because it gives a really pretty glow to the skin, which I love in the fall and winter. There's nothing prettier than like a soft glow. So I start it on the center of my face and I just work out from there. For foundation, I am using Stila Stay All Day in number five. And to apply, I'm using a Sephora Collection Mineral Powder Brush and just kind of buffing it into the skin. I am going to do a little concealer under my eyes. This is the Chanel concealer in number 20. And I'll just take my finger. I'm going to take the Hourglass Lighting Powder in Dim. I'm just going to kind of set the foundation with this. This isn't going to mattify at all. It's going to actually add a little bit of a glow. But I'm just going to take it, like, I don't know, just kind of dabbing it all over, really. And I'm dabbing it so it doesn't disturb the foundation underneath. For bronzer, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. On a Real Techniques um, blush brush. I'm just going to kind of put it, like, on the perimeter of my face to kind of warm it up. 
I'm going to take my Realm of the Senses cheek palette from NARS. And normally I just mix all three colors together, but I think I'm just going to mostly focus it on this color, the darkest one, today. I'm going to sell my brows in using um, the Naked Basics palette. I'm going to use this color called Faint. Normally I'd use my Anastasia Brow Duo, but I don't know where it is right now. I think it's in my car for some reason, so we're just going to use this. So you could really, really easily pair this with a nude lip and make it like a classic, you know, smoky eye and a nude lip. But I'm going to show you how to pair this look, a dark smoky eye, with a darker lip. A lot of people say you can only focus on one feature. I disagree. Um, so I'm going to show you like a good color to kind of go with a look like this. So this color is the Lancome Rouge and Love in number 391. It's called Fiery Attitude. It's one of my favorite fall lip tones. You can actually even darken it a little bit more than this by just kind of, you know, layering it on. Like that perfect fall burgundy lip and I really like it um, with this eye look. Of course, if you're more comfortable, you can pair this eye um, with more of a nude lip and I would probably do like a sheer nude lip maybe. Like this one. Um, this is from Wyatt Sal. It's their Sheer Candy in Violet. No, not Violet. <laughs> it's their Sheer Candy in number one called Lush Coconut. That would be really pretty with um, this look also. But obviously it would be more subtle and less fall like. And this would look really pretty if my hair was down and like all pretty looking. Which you should see in the beginning of the video when I film my intro. Um, but this is the finished look. I love this. It's using, of course, the new Laura Mercier Artist Palette. Hope you guys like this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.